WBBL finals have arrived early for the Hobart Hurricanes as they faced a must-win matchup with the Melbourne Renegades. So the Hurricanes facing a must-win matchup here. That sounded really nice off the blade of Lizelle Lee. That's the start the home team were after. Lizelle Lee heard the ground announcer and she obliged. It's Driven through the gap by Elise Villani. It is a very expensive first over from the Renegades. None for 16, the Hurricanes. Tossed up by Matthews. Lizelle Lee liked the look of it. Starts short and Lizelle Lee helps herself to four more. Just lofted in quite a measured way there by Elise Villani for four. Powered into the gap this time. And first ball, Villani with the scoop. Lizelle Lee punches it straight over the top. Picks up her fourth boundary of the innings. Showing her array of strokes, Lizelle Lee. It's a tough situation. Does it bring a wicket? Yes, first ball for Georgia Wareham. Elise Villani just couldn't resist. It's Georgia Presswich coming in off the boundary as well. I think that might be her 11th catch of the season. And bold. Smith's challenging season continues. She's gone for a duck. And Georgia Wareham is spinning a web here. She's got two for none. This has gone up from Lizelle Lee, just enough on it to clear the infield and the rope as well. Even the shanks from Lizelle Lee go for four. Lizelle Lee's found the momentum with a boundary. Carey goes high, should land safe here. It does eventually land right in front of the boundary. Sign of positive intent, the power surge, and there is a little bit of good fortune. Lizelle Lee lifting it over the offside. And there is a half century for the 12th time in her WBBL career, Lizelle Lee. That's how desperate she is. That's massive. This has gone up, though, from Carey. It may land safe. No, it won't. Tammy Beaumont with the safe hands underneath it. And Nicola Carey, she will go for 24. Yeah, unfortunately, just closed the bat face too early on this delivery, trying to play it too fine. Heather Graham gets a full toss. Could that be a free hit as well? We'll see if it's worth five. Lee walking around, helping it on its way down to the boundary. Lee again, high into the leg side, has got enough once again. It didn't look like it was totally out of the middle, but it still flies for six. Yeah, we've already see her, seen her play this shot tonight. That's much better from Heather Graham. Heather Graham has been really trying to find a maximum, and she's done just that. There's the 150 up for Hobart. She's been backing away to the leg side, trying to access more so through that cover and cover. That time, it's out of the screws, and it's six more. Oh, the crowd getting involved. Yeah, what an awesome shot here from Heather Graham. And freeing up is just what Lizelle Lee loves to do. I look out in the crowd at that deep mid-wicket region. I think you're in the game. Another maximum here. Again, just in step hit length. And Lizelle Lee, she's seeing the ball beautifully tonight. Pace, but just still servicing that length. Well, that's another one. And again. That's a carbon copy of the one before. No, it wasn't a replay. 
And now the Hurricanes have made history. That is the highest ever WBBL score here at Blunston Arena. No, only four to finish. A lower trajectory on that shot from Lizelle Lee. It's four more. Graham hitting the gap. He just skipped along the turf. Gets a full toss. Helps it around the corner. Solidly struck. Down the ground all the way for Heather Graham. Her highest WBBL score. And a second 50 in the competition. What an innings. Chip off 40. Five deliveries, final ball of the innings. And they're going to come back for a couple more, just to pile on a little bit more pain. 212 runs on the board. So here we go. The Renegades looking for the biggest chase in WBBL history. And this is the difference, isn't it, between the two sides. You've got Ishmael, former renegade. Beaumont, she'll be happy with that. Uses the pace to her advantage and picks up four. Textbook Tammy Beaumont, this. Beaumont slams it into the gap. Beaumont enjoying this power play. Now pulling behind Villani. It's running away from the captain. Press which has started. Beaumont swings at this one. Ishmael looks settled eventually. <laughs> Takes the catch, removes Beaumont. For a moment you thought it was going down for sure, but she got everything sorted at the last minute. Yeah, well, this is a really good adjustment from Ishmael. Been speaking about her bowling a full length to Beaumont. Was there an edge? It looked as though there was. And Harmon Precor is gone for a duck. The Renegades, with a big chase on their hands, did not need that. Jeez, this is a brilliant catch from Lazelle Lee. Press switch. Out. Three wickets down the Melbourne Renegades now. It is a long way back for them. That's over the top from Hayley Matthews. First boundary for her. Matthews gets it through. Second boundary in this over. And she's got the big wicket, Maisie Gibson. Bryony Smith with a smile on her face and Matthews trudges off. It's disappointment again. And she has got two in the over, Maisie Gibson. Well, we saw this happen when the Hurricanes batted the leg spinner in Wareham, picked up two wickets in an over, but right now it's Maisie Gibson picking up her second. Just over the head of Smith. And Strano <laughs> and Villani have they combined to stop it going for four. And how often does it happen? You bat so well. First ball, you're a bit tired. Drops it in short. And Georgia Wareham says, thank you very much. Debro again using the ramp. It's a good effect. There's four more. Wareham teeing off down the ground. One bounce four. That has gone. Lassoed to the boundary by Debro. This is entertaining to watch. Debro pulling. There's four more to the total. Down the wicket. That has come out of the screws. Deserved to be six. It's just one bounce four. 
She just keeps finding the gaps here, Emma Dubro. Over the top. The cover drive just looks spectacular. Bold. It's all over for Georgia Wareham. Maisie gives him with three wickets. Duffin, that's just a solid swing of the cricket bat. Dubrow walks down the crease, gets it high. Another lovely boundary. Sort of straighter into long on. Oh, what a take from Stalenberg. That's miraculous. <laughs> well, she dropped one earlier where I'm not quite sure she saw it, and she's in the hot spot again at mid wicket. And that is a very short stay for Josie Dooley. And Amy Smith's on a hat trick. Short from Smith. May have a third in the over. There it is. Well, Amy Smith, she's got a best ever. WBBL bowling figures, three for 17, and she's ripping through the tail here of the Gates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Maisie Gibson, she goes straight through Kennedy. First ball, she's got four for in the WBBL. It's getting the job done. Seven wickets between Maisie Gibson and Amy Smith, and Ishmael as well, chipping in. But that is a comprehensive victory from the Hobart Hurricanes. They needed that too. When you think about their net run rate in the context of the season, that is huge. This season, and you can see not much assistance around her from some stars, the likes of Matthews, Cor, Beaumont, just 30 runs between those three internationals in this Renegades lineup, all out for 119. The bowling carbol, it looks Awesome if you're a Hobart Hurricanes fan, and especially for Amy Smith, career best bowling figures for her. Maisie Gibson, career best bowling figures across her career, four for 24, four for 25 for her tonight. Shabnam Ishmael, just brilliant up top.